Hello everybody, Chad at Turner's Warehouse and today I'm excited because we are starting our kitless pen making series. Now, what is kitless pen making you might be asking? We're going to cover that along with all the tools, the tips and tricks you need to get started and we're going to get you going on this kitless journey. So why would you want to make a kitless pen? Well, a kitless pen allows you to make an entire pen out of a blank without using a kit or parts from a kit. This is a really cool way to kind of show your style. If you're a resin caster, you can make it from the blanks you make, or if you have a favorite resin caster, you can make your pens from those makers, and it really allows you to customize the look and the shape. In this video series, you're gonna learn how to do all the basics of kitless pen making from drilling, tapping, uh, using different tools that you may not have seen before, like a tenon cutter or a collet chuck. And we're gonna go over all the stuff that you need to learn so that you can make your own kitless pens. Now this won't be all the fine details, but it's gonna get you started to where then you can evolve your skills and your processes. You can make your own tooling and things like that. And that way you can jump into the kitless world with some knowledge. Okay, so you're probably asking what are kitless or bespoke pens and let me show you here. So I have some examples and the cool thing is these are examples from different makers. But first we're going to look at a kitless, a kit pen. So in this kit pen we would make the body and then we would assemble the kit parts to make the complete pen. Now in a kitless pen, here's one of mine for example, we make everything, this is a fountain pen, except the nib. So we make the body, we do all the thread cutting on the outside and the inside, we make the section, and that allows us to really customize it. You can see I use two different blanks here, and it really makes it personal because you can make it specific to sizes, uh, shapes, weights. And we've got five different makers here, which is cool because it shows you different designs and shapes. These three don't have clips, these two do. We've got Braxton at Divine. This is one of my Schimmel pens. We got Zach at Resinwork Studio. This is made by old Jim Hines of Hines Pen Company. And this is David at Alchemist Woodwork. So you can see a variety of shapes and sizes. And the beauty is from looking at different makers, you all have a different style. So the key thing is you wanna make your own style. Now, of course, they all are pens and they're all shaped the same way, but you'll develop little things that you like or dislike and that's how you'll make them. So that's why it's a personal thing and it really allows you to customize it if you have a specific customer or someone in mind that you're making it for. All right, let's talk tooling. So kitless tooling or bespoke pen tooling is probably your biggest expense in this adventure. Now, of course, you're gonna need your lathe. I'm gonna assume that you're already a, a wood turner or pen maker and you have a lathe, so we're not gonna cover the lathe, but you do need a lathe. But then you need a few specific items. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to buy all this to get started. You can use other things that you have and then as time permits, get the, the better tooling or the more specific tooling. And it does make it easier, but it's good to get your feet wet and see if it's something you wanna do before you spend all this money. But let's talk what we need to make these pens. First, you're gonna need a high quality set of drill bits. You're gonna need multiple bits. You're gonna need a bit for your cap, a bit for your body, and we'll cover sizes in a little bit. And then for the section where your fountain pen nib goes in, you actually need four different sizes. We're also gonna use a drill bit for the tenon cutter that is with the tenon cutter. But just there, you can see we're gonna need seven different drill bits to make one pen. The next thing you're gonna need is a good set of calipers. Uh, they don't have to be expensive, they just have to be good. So as long as they give you good readings, that's all that matters. Uh, but calipers are a must in this game. Next, you're gonna need taps and dies. Taps and dies are very important. These are what cut the threads on the outside of your body and also on the inside of your cap. So you need precision taps and dies to do this. Now we use what's called a triple lead or triple start tap and die for the cap and body. And what that does is when you put a pen cap on, it allows it to basically start engaging almost immediately anywhere you put the, the cap. You can use single start. There's nothing wrong with that, but just remember it's gonna spin a little before it'll catch the threads. So we're using a triple lead cap and body tap and die. We're using a single start tap and die for the inside where the section goes in. 
And then we're using a very specific tap for the fountain pen nib. Each fountain pen nib housing has a different thread. So you're gonna to wanna to figure out which nib you're gonna use before you buy your tap for that. And we'll have some recommendations for you in the description. Of course, you'll need a good marker. Got my Sharpie. And then this is called a niche tool system. Now this is one of those items you don't have to have, but it sure is nice to have. And what this does is this goes in your tailstock and it's a free floating, free spinning tool set that holds your taps and dies. So when you're gonna tap something or use a die, you put it in here and it gives you this motion where you can do it by hand, but still have precision. So this is a very nice set. If you can afford it to start with, go ahead. If you need to wait, wait, but it is, it is an optional piece. Moving over here, we have the tenon cutter. This is a tenon cutter designed by Jim Hines that we actually make at Turner's Warehouse. And with this comes all kinds of different bushings to set the tenons. And in this video series, you're gonna learn how to use this tenon cutter as well. You will also need or want a chuck. In this case, we're gonna use a collet chuck. It is definitely my recommendation to use a collet chuck, but you can get away with either just a drill chuck or a four jaw wood turning chuck. You'll need a center drive for centering your holes before you drill. A drill chuck, and this is keyless. You can use keyed or keyless, it doesn't matter, but you will need a drill chuck because we're gonna be doing a lot of drilling. And lastly, you'll need mandrels. Now these are homemade mandrels that we made here. We also offer the Beaufort mandrels, which are a great place to start. Keep in mind one thing, no set of mandrels, no matter who makes it, or if you buy it or whatever, is gonna fit exactly your needs. Mandrels have to be reshaped, they have to be altered, they have to be modified to fit what you're gonna make. And we'll cover that a little more in depth in the series here. So that was a brief overview of some of the tooling you could use for this. We're gonna go through that in each step as we move along. Lastly, I didn't mention it, you are gonna of course need a blank. So we are gonna now get started making this kitless pen and we're gonna start with the cap. So let's move on over to the lathe and make that cap. Thanks for watching. If you wanna watch the next video, just click here.